The head of Louis Vuitton, Bernard Arnault, fuck you. Okay. Alexander Arnault, you fuck you. Oh my god, go, yay. Fuck those niggas. I'm behind you, you my guy. Francois Pino, fuck you. Ooh. Dimna, fuck you. What? Fuck Balenciaga. What? Uh, what? what? Fuck Balenciaga? But Balenci, nigga. That's what I'm talking about. That's the yay that I want to see, bro. Fuck Balenciaga. Fuck that pedophile shit, bro. Fuck Cedric. By the easy part. By the easy part. Fuck Gap. Oh my God, yay! Fuck everybody, bro. Fuck everybody. Kanye West ranting about something. Let's see here, live on Instagram. Contracts. Ari Emanuel, your brother fucked up my city. Your brother turned Obama hair white. Rami Emanuel, y'all don't do y'all facts. All y'all niggas want to talk about. Let me tell you, anybody ever talked to my red hair? How y'all put me in a fucking hospital? Uh, fucking Chinese water torture. Oh, you know, million mm. questions. Everybody around me. Everybody mm. around me, tell me. Bro, this is the Kanye we want to hear. Honestly, because this is a very interesting perspective. Kanye is is inside everything. He has seen everything. He knows most of the bullshit which is happening, right? So this I find very interesting. And sometimes you hear these names, you know, and you're just wondering, like, who are these people? And uh, last time he ranted, Kanye had... Kanye spoke a lot of truth the last time he ranted. So let's continue. Can't wear, nigga, you can't tell me the color of my hat. Y'all can't tell me shit, nigga. Mm -hmm. No, none of y'all motherfuckers here with no Instagram, nobody living, nobody at, and I don't want to hear shit from none of these nigga Jewish niggas talk about, oh, he's in an episode. Harley passing, they follow me to the fucking hotel. The nigga killed kill Aaron Carter, and now they acting like they won't kill, yeah, uh, clear the Backstreet Boys out. Ah, that's wild, yay. That is wild. Continue. You got to say Harley passing that pusher. Your trainer, Harley Passion that Jay Z. You know what I'm saying? And then niggas be hanging around these niggas just for the money or some Mike Rubin shit. Slap the shit out of Mike Rubin. I see that nigga. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, fuck. Mike Rubin. That's not Rick Rubin, right? The producer. Fuck these niggas, bro. Fuck these niggas, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm on my favorite car. Listen, listen. Women love this shit. Honestly, they love it when you just go like this, bro. This is. This is the, this is the Kanye we love. Oh shit right now, bro. Because guess what? These Jeezy's gonna sell. Yeah. These, they sabotaged the show today. They sabotaged the Instagram. They cut off the fucking Adidas contract. They did all the shit. Then they wanna go get light skin yay. You gotta say it. That's Jerry. His real name is light skin yay, bro. <laughs> Dead ass he told me that was his name. It was light skin yay. They want the light skin version. They want a George Floyd. They want a Virgil. Then like they don't let me speak at his funeral. I saw two. Three, four, five white people not let me speak in front of none of y'all niggas and Drake, because nigga. And, hold on, hold on. Oh, whoa, whoa, Drake. What what happened to what Drake? I'm talking, baby. Drake, I love you. I'm gonna get the tattoo. But any of y'all niggas, Trav, Drake, whoever, y'all gotta show up. And don't tell me I'm talking crazy. Y'all nigga, I motherfucking Pharrell yeah, and me. Hey, come on, me. Pharrell, we broke down this door. We all in this shit together. We all in this shit together. And we all dealing with a lot of... Louis Vuitton Dime. We all... And what I'm telling you, a lot of people had shit to say about my Jewish comments, but ain't nobody in this motherfucking room and none of y'all entertaining niggas ever said nothing when I was praying to see my kids one of the last days. Uh, 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 uh what's my nigga that got fucking, uh, locked up for the Mega Salad shit? Oh, Tori. Okay, look. So Tory Lanez called me. We Whoa. <laughs> Let's unpack. What what happened with Tory? We're saying prayers. We were saying prayers on the phone together. And I prayed that day. And y'all saw that shit. And y'all saw when I couldn't see my kids. When I couldn't see Chicago too. All y'all niggas on Instagram got some shit to say. Y'all niggas saw this shit. Don't tell me about my fucking political opinion. I made more money to show you that money ain't nothing. It's our money, nigga. It's our country, nigga. It's how like he stole it from us. It's pyramids, nigga. It's pyramids. It's St. Louis, nigga, Missouri. They stole it. All this shit. America just the latest bitch that been. Bro, can't Kanye just do this instead? Fuck the album. Fuck. I mean, he's already his music is already in history. It's already segmented in history. It's already there. Like, I'm more interested in this. Yay, Park Shakur. This is what I'm more interested in. Love it ran through so many times. The Greeks right. hit her. Master Musa hit her. We had her. The Indians and shit. The motherfucking, the motherfucking pilgrims 
It's the Jewish niggas. They dress the same, nigga. It's the same shit. That's the story. They put us in the school. The Rothschilds. I know Jay-Z back here like, oh, this nigga gonna die now. I've been here for a year, my nigga. Yeah. They can't yeah. fucking touch Yo. me. Why? Because mm -hmm. God covered me. Ooh. He covered me. Yeah. And guess what, Trump? We ain't giving you the support. Okay. Let's you get Larry out. Let's you get Jeff oh, out. Oh, you understand yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Because y'all niggas, y'all yeah. politicians, yeah. think y'all gonna just get our shit for free. Thank oh, you all of a sudden, nigga, because you got a mug shot, you with us now? No, nigga. No, what you gonna do for us? What they gonna do for us? Y'all niggas done voted Democrat all these motherfucking times. These y'all niggas showing up with the LV show. These niggas is colonizers, nigga. The French own 80% of the banks in Africa. Yeah, that's true. And even the Terore and everything which is happening in Niger right now. I covered this. I, bruh, sometimes I cover all of this shit, but you guys don't even show the support. I covered this shit about Africa. The exact same thing where I'm saying, how can France own, like, how can France have the third biggest gold reserve in the world? Where did they get that gold from? Where? Niger? Congo? How do these countries in Europe become so super rich? How? Colonizing, maybe? United Nations, maybe? But we're not even talking about that because that's the stupid thing with everybody. Everyone's just so focused on TikTok, Instagram. Oh my, my booty's on Instagram. Grandma's on, grandma, why don't you go to Africa and help some African kids instead of being on TikTok and fucking getting your booty blasted. Everyone is so focused on themselves. And that's why I'm saying like, Within the black community, I hate that, bro. I hate the fact that we do not build, that we do not motivate each other, that we're not behind each other. We always gotta, always gotta tear each other down. And I want to address the whole thing about the Kanye controversy because I saw you guys commenting on my latest video about Kanye West. I wasn't hating on Kanye. I wasn't like, oh fuck Kanye. No, no, no. I'm just honestly, if Kanye's album is whack, I have to be honest about that. I have to be honest about that because honestly, what pushes this guy is the negativity. It's not the positivity. Whenever Kanye has done something stupid or he has been under, that is when he releases something beautiful. Nigga, that's why I just met with MBS. Nigga, head of Saudi. Nigga, we don't have to bow to this shit, nigga. We, okay, it's 60 million of us in America, 60 million Jews in the world. 50% of our deaths is abortion. 25% of us... Go to prison. Raise one hand if you don't know one nigga in prison, one nigga got locked up, and one nigga poor. Ooh. Wait, raise okay. your hand if you don't know. You don't yeah, know but the problem is also this, right? We do this to our community. I saw this TikToker of this guy which was talking about like the reason why black men date white women is because they want to be accepted in the white community. And that's true. Even I have dated white women. And this is, this is crazy because when I saw the TikTok, I was thinking about it like, why, why is that? It's because we want to be the best. And how are we the best? Well, if you date a white woman, you can prove like, I'm just as good as a white man, but it doesn't really matter. You can date a black man, <laughs> a black man. You can date a black woman and still have the same status. One person got abortion. Now, now I tell you, now I tell you, if it was in a Jewish mother on Friday with no fucking, everybody raised their hands. So, but wait, wait, wait a second. But who got, but wait, wait, wait a second. Who make the hospitals though? Who, who got the hospitals? These are Zionists, nigga. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Jesus Christ, Hitler, yay. Third party, sponsor that. Ooh, I don't know about, oh my God. Is this Yadov? Are we seeing Yadov come back? Bro, that's what I'm saying, my guy. Go for it, nigga. Yeah. Bring the sponsorships to that. Because there's going to be some niggas that feel exactly like me. I don't give a fuck, nigga. I'm 7 I don't give you. a fuck about life or death. I, I get visitation with my kids. I ain't going to say so. No. Them niggas walk around like look like soccer players. They don't even fucking know. They don't even know they got the dad. They can't see me come play one on nobody. They still feel you, though. They'll feel me, but they trying to program them. The head of Louis Vuitton, Bernard I know, fuck you. Alexander I know. Fuck oh my god, go yay. Fuck those niggas. I'm behind you, you my guy. Francois Pino, fuck you. Timna, 
Fuck you. What? Fuck Balenciaga. What? Oh. What? what? Fuck Balenciaga? But Balenci, nigga. That's what I'm talking about. That's the yay that I want to see, bro. Fuck Balenciaga. Fuck that pedophile shit, bro. Fuck Cedric. Buy the easy parts. Buy the easy parts. Fuck Gap. Oh my God. Yay. Fuck everybody, bro. Fuck everybody. And fuck Adidas. Oh. Adidas. Oh, this is like fucking still wearing Adidas. Nigga, don't say me shit. Yay, Pac. Nigga, I'm by myself in this motherfucking room, nigga. Everybody shut the fuck up. Ooh. Bro, this is. Just do this. Kanye, just do this. I don't give a damn about that. Just do this. This is what we want to see, bro. Make an album where you're just ranting. <laughs> fucking 12 tracks, just fucking rant. Hey, shut the fuck up. Let me tell you something right now. Just the fact that you ain't listening to me. It's, it's it. Ain't none of y'all niggas with me. I'm by my fucking self. Because ain't none of y'all niggas stand up for me. Ain't nobody stop. God. It's shut, said, nigga, shut God. up. Be quiet before you get exiled. Like, yeah. like, so I'm saying is, nobody with me. Everybody. Bruh, like, okay, let me just say one thing, okay? Because I have to address this. When Kanye was going through his cancellation, right? I think I'm the only one which made a video about this. I am the only one which made a video about this. And you can go into my channel and check the video out. I am the only one which made a video about it. I'm just saying, like, I know people are like, oh, you hate Kanye, this, uh, bro, I'm the only nigga which made a video about it. And I looked at it from his perspective and I'm like, this guy knows something which we do not know. Why is he... Why is he so pissed off about it? Think of this. A man for just speaking, they shut down his accounts. Same thing happened to me. Same fucking thing happened to me. And I was like, God damn. If they can shut down our accounts, what the fuck don't you think they'll do to you? I th I don't even compare me. I'm not even on the same level as Kanye West. I'm just an average guy but look at Kanye look at what they did to this this nigga this is this is the guy bro this is the greatest artist of all time they shut down his accounts I'm just saying I'm just bro there's there's something sometimes you know when people are ranting I just love to listen because I don't know I'm not in those rooms I'm not there and this is happening all the time they buy these huge artists, the P Diddy's, the Jay Z's, they buy them. And then they control the narrative. Push gun, drugs, violence, push that. Why? It's private owned prisons. Trust me guys, this, this video is probably gonna be taken down. Here, have the motherfuckers on a check. Have the motherfuckers just here like, ha ha, laughing at jokes, laughing at the raps and shit. Nigga, I made these beats in my mama basement. Right. I drew these motherfucking shoes since I was in seventh grade, nigga. Cause when I asked niggas step up, not one nigga stepped up. I'm not now one nigga stepped up. up. I ain't even think he stepped up. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. None of the famous niggas, Math Corner, <laughs> sold me out. You know what I'm saying? Nobody fucking said y'all saw me and see my kids. All y'all rich niggas got y'all kids in that Zion school. Fuck Sierra Canyon. My my daughter ripped up the motherfucking couches in a house to be able to be with me right now. Y'all don't know what's going on, for real. Where y'all tick tocking and all that shit. Y'all put up with all that shit. I don't give a fuck, nigga, I'm in Pac. I'm in Vegas, like Pac. My daughter had the Tupac fucking right, t-shirt. So I'm saying, witness this shit. Visit this shit. But I don't believe in nobody but me, nigga. I don't give a fuck, y'all don't gotta say we with you. You're not with me. No one's with me, because <laughs> no one's really with me. It's just me and God. Ah, oh, shit, me and God, that's true, bro. That's true. At the end of the day, people speak. Because, you know, everyone wants to be in the VIP. They want to film Kanye. They want to be around him. But when it comes to when it comes to the war, nigga, no one wants to stand beside. I remember, bro, when I was standing outside there, and he was just going at that community. No one said anything. No one was like, oh, Kanye's right. Even when he went on the Lex Friedman podcast. Even Lex was sitting, oh, there's no such thing. I'm like, no such thing? 
Look at what they did to him. God, that's what I'm saying. And I'm still alive. Let's go. And I'm still alive. Let's go. Hey. You ain't post. You ain't. You ain't. When you ain't post. When I couldn't see my kids, y'all ain't post. Y'all ain't stopped the Adidas shit. Y'all niggas let Adidas crash. The rich. Ooh, nigga. Fuck these niggas, yay. I was behind you. I was behind you. I think your new album is trash, yay, but I'm still behind you, bro. This nigga all the time. Y'all know I did. Hey, she didn't hey, Wait a second. Yeah. Wait a second. I put up one tweet, and then Ari Emanuel put, oh, we got to drop this nigga, and all niggas just watch. The only nigga that had the Trump hat, the only nigga that went and got them billions, the only nigga that's breaking through all kinds of ideas and fashion. Bro, Loki, that fucking girl is hot as fuck. I'm Kanye, bro, you have the hottest women around. I've been called a faggot so many times for tight jeans. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I got, I got niggas from Chicago that I take care of that still trying to sell me. Oh. Trying to say I can't go to motherfucking GD. Nigga, I've been way bigger folks than you, nigga. You niggas don't take care right of me. Right now, your thing is who, you wait, and said, God. Wait, 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 Who you, who you, shut up. Who you think, no, hold on, hold on. Who you think the old man called? You. When we put, when we put Drake on, we put Drake on stage. Who the old man called? You. You know what I'm saying? Does God put you in position? Nigga, just because I had a car, nigga. Fuck everybody, nigga. You the biggest best. That's what I'm trying <laughs> <laughs> bro, I hope to be this famous one day. Bro, I hope to be this famous where people are just around me and just fucking gassing my ego, bro. Just get you did it, you did, bro, nigga. No one was behind Kanye, bro. No one's behind. The reason why is because people are fucking cowards. That's how people are. They don't give a damn. They only think about themselves. Trying to say to you niggas yeah. right Vessel. fucking now, nigga. Vessel. This is what y'all been waiting for. Drake, this is what you been waiting for. Jay Z, this is what you been waiting for. Kim, this is what you been waiting for. All you niggas, look, let me tell you something. This is the way the world works. God is using him be, right now. Okay, be quiet for a second. I'll scrap for a second. <laughs> I love you, Bo. Okay. No, no, you got to get up. Hey, stop. Sorry. Come down, please. God, God please. runs the world. Then under that, you got Yapok. Thousand year old family. Yeah, yay, Pac. It's Medici. Under that, you have the Vatican. <whistles> yay, bro, you... Shit, my God, be spitting some sh... The Pope. Under that, you have the financial groups that control all your shit. The Black Rock, Vanguard. After that, you have Putin. You have Trump. You have Ooh. all this shit. And after that, you got what all this shit is. Entertainment. Ah, bro. Yeah, we're... We're not even on level one, bro. Damn. Like level zero. Trump and them are just on level one. Then you gotta go higher up, bro. Shit. The ladder is. It's a tall a ladder to climb. Hollywood. Podcast. Take that. Run that back. Run in the schools. What a, I'm gonna give y'all one last thing before I go. When, when, you, when I first put the tweet up, I was dealing with a divorce lawyer. And I explained, I explained to the lawyer. Look at the women, they're just like, my God, we're getting so much tea right now. Oh my, oh my God. Like, bro, these girls are gonna be fucking talking about this for years, years to come, bro. What my issue was, and his response was to me, if you keep up this anti-Semitic rhetoric, then you won't see your kids. A nigga I knew said I couldn't have an opinion or I wouldn't see my kids. Y'all know who y'all fucking playing with? This is a vessel of God. He gonna burn all your shit down, I swear. I knew these niggas was trying to make surviving yay, surviving this way. That's why I sent it up while I was still in the high schools. Bill Cosby couldn't do shit by the time they got him. R. Kelly couldn't do shit by the time they got him. That's why I had to send it up. Cause the same Dude, niggas the that made him rich is the same niggas doing the documentary. And fuck Cootie, fuck you. Cause everybody saw that third. Cootie, the documentary, the guy which did the fucking documentary. What, what did Cootie do? Third episode. That's what the whole shit was about. Period. He's selling open it's Cootie on the camera. I don't know if you guys saw the Kanye West documentary. I'm not even bipolar and there signs of autism from the accident. They're gonna hit me with a fucking medication, have us selling opioids for them. They made me the face of bipolar. Okay, nigga, big farmer, where are my royalties, nigga? A lot of fucking drugs you done sold off of the idea of yay 
being bipolar. I don't say shit right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They come here. I think I, I think I pretty much wrapped up. Like, what are you talking? Everything I want to say.